Yes, thank you, you look fabulous too. <laughs> thank you. Um, <laughs> um, I'm very excited to be here, I'm very excited to welcome you all. It's been a, it's been a busy year for Sendesk, we have a lot of cool new stuff uh, to show you today. But I want to start by taking a closer look at how we're trying to keep up with our customers and, and the ever-changing customer expectations. Um, too often it seems like our customers are moving ahead while we as businesses are falling further and further behind. We are living in a radical change of customer expectations and we know as businesses that we need to change the way we do business uh, to keep up with our customers. But unfortunately, very often, we find ourselves living in very different universes, in very different realities. Think about for a moment the reality for your customers today. They're moving, they're changing at an incredible fast pace. The adoption of consumer technology has never been uh, faster than it is today. And along with this speed of change, along with this speed, customers are also much more informed. They know more about a company and its products and they go into conversations with much higher expectations as a result. Our customers are always connected today, connected to technology, connected to friends and family, connected to the whole internet, gives them immediate access to all the information in the world. Um, and their own information is with them all the time. It travels with them all the time and they have constant access to it. Our customers are more empowered today than ever before. Help is at your fingertips. You can order anything online, get it delivered tomorrow. Um, change your vendors, change your service providers at a whim. It's, um, it's an incredible speed, it's an incredible new set of customer expectations that we as businesses have to live up to. And it's a very different reality that we live in uh, inside companies. Uh, we have a very hard time as businesses to keep up with our customers, just in terms of how we use technology and how we adopt new technology. Uh, we are very slow often. We make uh, making changes to live up to our customer expectations is obviously really, really hard. Just think about basic things as, um, you know, updating your app or your website to fix an issue that occurs for your customers. Think about how, how long and how complicated uh, that often is. And our teams are also incredibly disconnected from our customers. Our teams within the organization Every single team have their own fragmented view on their customers, their own one-dimensional view of their customers, and they have their own set of assumptions about their customers. When, when we organize an event like this, of course our marketing team wants to invite all of these people, and kind of getting that data out of our central systems is, is a very old-fashioned method where we export CVS files and somebody sit manually and de-dupe all of these files. So, as businesses today, we are incredibly slow and often our employees feel powerless. They think they know what their customers want, but often our employees are not really empowered to change anything. Our, custom, our employees don't have insights into our customers and uh, the power to actually change, make the changes that they often feel that they need to. This stark divide between our customers' reality and our reality is even more frustrating because we know it should be better. I, in my job, I build relationships with a lot of our customers. Um, and when I try to understand how a customer is doing, I try to get my teams to kind of deliver a coherent picture. But getting that consistent picture is really, really hard. We have to stitch together all this different information about how they use our products, who's kind of the key people, how's their business doing, what is their strategy, all these different things can take forever to stitch together. And in many ways, we as businesses are falling behind because we very much believe, or we are stuck in this belief that we are the center of the universe and our customers are revolving around us. And very much the technology we use to have this view at our customers kind of gets us stuck in that thinking about how we are the center of the universe and our customers are evolving around us. If we think about um, some of these uh, promises that the traditional CRM platforms, the tra traditional CRM system promise us, they talk about like the 360 view of your customers, owning the customer record and, and the single source of truth. 
like all of these promises are often false. They may have worked, these beliefs may have worked in a different age when customers weren't changing so quickly as customers are doing today, when customers weren't as informed as they are today and weren't as empowered as they are today. So we need, it's time to, customers have moved on, and it's time for our businesses to move on too. It's time to break free from the old way of doing things, and it's time to break free from thinking that we as businesses are the center of the universe. People once thought that the Earth was the center of the universe, and challenging that notion was hard and, and dangerous, and, and legacy CRM systems still put themselves at the center, forcing companies to use proprietary tools and old-style database structures, and holds businesses hostage to that reality. I think today we all know that our planet is not the center of the universe. The Earth revolves around the sun. No one questions that anymore. And the same is true for your customer relationships. Your customers don't revolve around you anymore. Your relationships with them are constantly changing and evolving. They're dynamic, not static. And the universe is also constantly expanding and evolving. evolving. That is no center of the universe. Our planet is merely a speck of dust in the vastness of space. And to our customers, we're just one small part of the ever-growing, constantly changing universe. Every single customer today has multiple dimensions, has multiple identities. We know this from our own lives. Each of us have different identities. We have a life as a parent, as a spouse, but we also have a job and we are a customer service leader. We may moonlight as a, uh, as a, as a driver for Uber or for Lyft, but we're also using that service as a passenger. Our love for gardening might make us big influencers on YouTube or Pinterest for that matter, or maybe we have a foodie obsession and it makes us the, the person to follow on Instagram for all the hot new restaurants. We cannot, in the world of business, in the world of customer service, in the world of customer engagement, we cannot build amazing customer experiences for our customers if we are stuck only seeing one dimension of them. To truly understand all these dimensions, we need the, to be able to connect all the data. Customer information, customer data, today is spread out everywhere, and it's, it's growing exponentially. Not only does the data live in many disparate systems inside of your organization, it also lives outside of your organization with partners on devices, on apps, in services, and on social media, all these different places. And it's not a, not a single database CRM system, and it can never be. There's only going to be more data with time, and it's going to be in places that we don't even know about today. So the challenge is to connect all of that information, to understand it, and to build great experiences with it. And that is why I'm standing here today and very excited to announce that Sendis is launching a new CRM platform, a new generation of CRM platform, and we're going to call it Sendis Sunshine. Thank you. Now the suit makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. Um, Sunshine lets you connect all your customer data, wherever it lives, inside or outside your organization. It lets you understand all the different dimensions about your customers, and it's built for a world where you are no longer the center of your customer's universe anymore. When we set out to build uh, Sunrise, we wanted to address three key issues with CRM platforms. First and foremost, uh, legacy CRM systems promise this single source of truth for this 360 degree view of the customer, uh, a view that, we simply, uh, that simply doesn't exist anymore. And companies are often left in the dark and because their customer data is everywhere. We also, one of the other issues with traditional CRM platforms is that they are, they are alienating the developers 
uh, because all the languages, the scripting, everything is proprietary, just makes it incredibly slow to build stuff. And then they, these systems are not yours. These platforms are not yours. They belong to the vendor. And they are proprietary, too complicated, too expensive. M moving data in and out is complex, requires middleware, custom APIs always. Traditional legacy CRM platforms traps you in their world. With Sunshine, you can connect, you can understand all your customer data across every system. You can build and deploy apps and services faster using open standard technologies, open frameworks that your developers are already using. And you can break free with open standards and the public cloud that gives you all the stuff that you want today to run a fast, agile business. So let me take you through the key Sunshine capabilities that we're launching to do all of these things. So first and foremost, at the heart of Center Sunshine you is an entirely new customer data layer. And we are, it's going to contain a lot of stuff, everything from your relationships to your conversations. But we're going to launch with something we call Sunshine Profiles that helps you see all the dimensions of your customers by bringing together their profiles, their identities, their information uh, across systems, across applications. We're going to launch with Sun, uh, Sunshine Events, which uh, captures all the customer activity. These can be customer service requests, but also like website visits, purchase transactions, shipping history, anything that constitutes an event from the perspective of a customer. And then we're going to uh, launch uh, sunshine objects, uh, uh, custom objects that helps you collect additional information that is relevant for your business, whether that be a contract, a, a piece of hardware, a purchase order. All of these things can now in exist in Sendesk and have relationships to all other objects in the in the in the in Sunshine. But this is just the beginning. We are the beginning of a journey with Sunshine, and we we'll continue to create and release more capabilities that helps you connect and understand your customer data. Um, all Sunshine data is going to power all Sendesk products. But furthermore, you can also deploy your own custom applications using standard public cloud frameworks, using standard, standard uh, developer languages. You can deploy your own services and use all the power of Sunshine to create your own customer-facing applications. And it's opening an entire new world for you and your developers to build these apps and services that you need for your customers. All of this is built on the public cloud in AWS. That means that all the data natively connects with all the AWS services. It flows freely and easily between the standard AWS services. And you get all the benefits of AWS. You get the elasticity, the scalability, you get the reliability, the security, the compliance that AWS provides you as a customer. So putting Sunshine in AWS is a really, really big thing for us. We are in the middle of a huge platforming, replatforming in IT onto the public cloud across all industries and across all businesses, and it's being led by AWS. I want to talk a little bit more about that, so please join me in welcoming from AWS, Mike Clavel, the Vice President of Worldwide Commercial Sales and Business Development. Hey, Mike. Good to see you. Thanks so much for coming. Hey, thank you for letting me come and be on stage with you today. <laughs> I, uh, I am not nearly as dressed up as you, but I... Much less glamorous. <laughs> but I know, I know you flew in specifically for that, and we were very, very excited to have you here today. Delighted to be here. So um, what we've seen uh, in how companies are using uh, AWS, we, the first generation was very much for businesses about lifting and shifting their applications from their own infrastructure into the public clouds. But that's changing now. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's a really exciting time in history. I, I, I feel so lucky to be a part of this unique time in history where we're really bringing about a time of transformation to an IT industry, opening up a bunch of tools such as Zendesk and empowering a lot of developers. Really, it is about 
empowering developers to, to do the things that they want to do. Yeah. I mean, build things that are really super unique and meaningful, like, um, like precision healthcare. We've got GE and Philips and trying to create, create uh, precision in healthcare because of the capabilities of the cloud. We have the Fred Hutch that is looking to cure cancer by 2025 because of the power that's available to them in the AWS cloud. So it's a, it's a really unique time in history. And, and uh, you know, AWS has been so lucky to have <laughs> great customers like you and, and those that I just mentioned. We've, um, we just announced our earnings a couple of weeks ago. We're now uh, uh, on a $27 billion run rate, growing at 46% year on year. And that's uh, off of last year, we were on an $18 billion run rate, yeah. only growing 42%. So it's, it's great to have such great partners like you participating. So. And, and that is also because like, businesses' perspective on AWS has changed. Like from that traditional world of like, lifting and yeah. shifting, putting your applications in AWS, now it becomes like a business transformation. That's it, right. it sets companies free by truly utilizing the public clouds. That's right. Well, if you think about it, uh, initially um, uh, enterprises thought, let's lift and shift applications, yeah. but now they're saying, let's use the cloud in more native ways to really drive innovation across the company. By the way, when it all comes down to it, it's about how can I innovate on behalf of my customer? And these tools are very useful to do that. What do you see, like, what do you see with businesses? What do you see uh, businesses do that they couldn't do before? What are some of the opportunities you get from really truly embracing AWS? Yeah, so the first thing I would say is, look, um, the, the cloud has tools that's available to you, every possible user, whether it be your developer, whether it be your data uh, data scientist, whether it be just a business analyst, you know, the tools are there and readily available for them to do things that they simply couldn't before. Yeah. I mean, if you just look back um, at, you know, two guys in San Francisco that had a tough time affording their apartment, <laughs> now are booking 275,000 rooms a night, right? Airbnb sure. or, or uh, the, the innovation that Major League Baseball has, the ability with their StatCat to actually watch the ball float through the air and predict the, I'm just, <laughs> these things you couldn't do before. Or John Deere has connected their tractors up and they think they can make farmers 20% more productive with pre precision farming, allowing us to feed the 9.7 billion people that will be on this earth by 2050 without breaking out any more arable land. That, that kind of stuff matters. So whether it's precision healthcare, whether it's, um, you know, education that uh, is for the masses, or whether it's, you know, self-driving cars, or whether it's curing cancer. <laughs> These tools now help people do what, what I think are some of the most important things. By the way, this has been a unique five years. Just wait for the next five yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. Imagine all the things we've accomplished because we've got, had these tools available to True. us in the last five years. I think in the next five years, we'll probably bring about more innovation around the customer experience maybe than we've seen yeah. in the last 20. Yeah, and we definitely hope to, <coughs> sorry, we definitely hope to kickstart a lot of that and see a lot of our customers embracing AWS and embracing the open standards, the open frameworks that you provide to move faster and keep up with our customers. We have a lot of joint customers also speaking here over the next couple of days. We have companies like Zipcar, like Netflix. We have uh, Stanley Black & Decker, who's part of the technical keynote tomorrow morning with our president of uh, products, uh, Adrian McDermott going to talk about how they use Sunshine, how they use AWS to really truly provide a next generation experience. We're so excited about Sunshine. What, what We're is so excited about it. It. Look, <laughs> you know, for us, you know, one of the things that's been core to us is really uh, empowering builders to build, right? That's what it's about, and empowering create, creative minds to build creative solutions. And that's why we're so excited about Sunshine, right? Because Sunshine is a set of tooling that allows those people that are trying to innovate on the customer experience to do it and do it very rapidly with all the ML tools and to be able to, to integrate Zendesk data in those ML tools, 
to innovate on the customer experience and the contact center, that really matters. Um, we believe uh, at Amazon, we're in a time of great change. And in times of great change, speed matters. Sure. And we believe that you're bringing a next level of speed and agility to the customers. And uh, you know what I say? Let the sun shine in. <laughs> Let the sun shine in, exactly. And Mike, this is fantastic. Um, we are very excited about our partnership, very excited about your friendship. Uh, we truly believe together we can bring something exceptional to our customers that helps our customers keep up to the fast growing Pay, uh, change in expectations from our, from our customers ourselves. So we're very excited about this partnership. We look forward to doing a lot more stuff together. So Cheers. thank you so much thank for flying Thank you very much. Today. Thanks for having Thanks, me. Thanks, Mike. Cheers. Mike Claywell, thank you. All righty. Uh, it's great to work with AWS on this, and AWS is really embracing and really is a catalyst for change in how businesses can move faster today be more agile and really keep up with customer expectations. Um, we talked about Sunshine. Let's, let's take a look at it. Please welcome me on stage here from our product and product marketing teams, Luke and Asta, who's going to take us through some of the capabilities of Sunshine. Thank you. Looking good, man. Thank you, Mikko, and good morning, everyone, and thank you for being here today. Luke and I are super excited to show you our brand new platform, Sunshine, in action. And while we might not be wearing gold suits like um, Mikko, we've got a little ode to Sunshine here, with a little bit of yellow. Luke's got his yellow socks. So thank you again, and um, hope you really enjoy the demo. So we've talked a lot about you know, how businesses need to move faster than their customers. And in the same spirit, we do realize that the terms CRM or platform come with a lot of baggage, right? Customers have heard this over and over again, that they need to move fast. The CRM platform fails them to do that. So we're excited to show you three new capabilities as a part of Sunshine that'll help you do that, and they're pretty unique. Luke, my partner in crime, is gonna help us geek out a little, or maybe a lot, and show you how these work today and how they'll work for you in the future. So first up, Sunshine Profiles. Next, we'll talk about Sunshine Events. And last but not least, we're going to talk about Sunshine Objects. You'll also notice at the core of these announcements is the ability to bring all this customer data, all your business data, all within Sunshine. So without further ado, let's step into the demo. This is Helios. It's a scooter rental company in San Francisco. And it also happens to be a Zendesk customer. Helios has hundreds of scooters, hundreds of customers in the city, and let's meet one of their customers, Lisa. Lisa is a regular customer of Helios, and based on her support profile, we know a few things about her. Her email address, the language she speaks, the time zone, of course, specific standards, she lives here, and her phone number. So we have that information available today in Zenda support. And like any other Tuesday, Lisa is about to go grocery shopping. She opens up her Helios mobile application and plans that trip. She reserves her favorite scooter and is on her way. Everything goes just fine, just as planned. She's at her grocery store, but then something unexpected does happen this time. Her scooter battery fails. We've all been there. I mean, dead battery, the struggle is real. Whether it's your phone, it's your car, or your scooter. So Lisa has that problem today, Luke. How are we going to help her? Well, lucky for Lisa, these are smart scooters. Every Helio scooter has a sensor installed that captures real-time vitals like tire pressure and battery life. And so this makes it possible for the scooter to start a proactive ticket with Zendesk so the team can get ahead of Lisa's problem. Great. So that ticket automatically gets routed to Joe. Joe's an agent at Helios, and he's a technical support agent. So because of his skill sets, the ticket gets directly to him. And this is Joe's beautifully simple workspace. Many of you in the audience know, uh, know this workspace quite well. So we also know that routing the ticket to Joe is just the first step. Joe needs the right context, the right tools to really help Lisa. So we're going to show you how Sunshine can really create that perfect context all within this workspace that you're quite familiar with to help Lisa faster. And to provide that context, first we're bringing the essential cards to Joe's workspace. Again, the basic information that we just saw about Lisa that already exists in support is now available in Joe's beautifully simple workspace. 
But as you know, this is just one version of Lisa. Companies store multiple identities and multiple versions of our profiles with them. That's because companies also know that customer journeys are not linear. We travel across from one department to the other. We interact with support. We interact with sales and marketing. And during that course, we interact with many other applications, whether that's the company's business applications, whether they're, they're third-party applications like Twitter and LinkedIn, or maybe even some custom applications. And during that course, the data gets stored in different places. So different versions of our profiles get stored in multiple places. And this is exactly the reason why the 360 view of the customer inside a single database is a myth. You really can't do that. You really can't force all that information inside a single database. And in, cust in reality, customer data is everywhere. It's expanding. And while you can't really force it into a single database, you also can't rely on a departmentalized view from a specific software that a specific team inside a company is using. So this is what Helios's architecture might look like today. They're kind of stuck. There's some data in the Helios database that powers their products and their mobile apps and their billing and ordering systems. Uh, of course, there's great data in Zendesk about some of their customers and the rich conversations that they've had with them. And there might be data from third-party data tracking systems like Segment and Pendo or other third-party services. But it's proprietary clouds, different formats, hard to connect, hard to access and make sense of. Well, with Zendesk Sunshine, we'll give, we'll give you a way to bring this data together to create a common view of the, the customer across all of these data sources. But this is not about moving data to a single database or radically changing your architecture. Instead, with our forthcoming graph APIs and AWS data connections for services like Kinesis and S3 and more, you'll be able to combine customer data together without a huge project. So your IT team will approve. And what does all this connected data mean for your business? Well, you remember the essentials card that Asta showed just a few moments ago? Today we're excited to introduce Zenda Sunshine Profiles, which will enrich the standard information about your customers with all of that previously siloed, previously unavailable third-party data right within your Zendesk interface. This helps Joe see the whole picture like the fact that Lisa is HR director for a company called Acme based in San Francisco, and that she's a Helios VIP. Awesome, so we have now this extended profile again available within Joe's workspace, but we still need to understand how does Lisa interact with the business? Which departments, which applications is she really interacting with? But again, legacy CRM vendors only give you a very static and a tabular view of these interactions and that prohibits the business to move at the pace of the customers themselves. So we're gonna see how we're gonna change that with Sunshine for you, introducing Sunshine events. This helps you move from static views of the customer to a more dynamic view and an evented format of all of your customers' interactions, readily available for people across the organization like Joe to really help Lisa faster. Here you can see that the Sunshine Events captures all interactions, both within Zendesk, which is using Zendesk products, and some third applications that Helios is using. Lisa's interaction history now available right within the same workspace. Joe doesn't have to leave that workspace. Joe doesn't have to work with any other messy formats. All beautifully simple, all easy to access. So let's take a look at like a couple of interactions Lisa's already had with the company. The first one here talks about an article view. It looks like she went into the Helios's knowledge base, which is powered by Zendesk Guide, and she looked at some corporate plans. Maybe she's really happy with the service and she's looking to expand that within her corporation. And then the next thing that we also know is that Lisa made a reservation using Helios's application, but then Helios is using Pendo to track every activity on that application. So those, are events, uh, those events are also feeding into this interaction history. Again, all this context, including Lisa's extended profile and now the interaction history available to Joe in his workspace. Very simple, very easy to use. And it's great that now we have the Sunshine profiles, we have Sunshine events, but that still doesn't help solve Lisa's problem. We still have the case of the dead battery in the scooter. So just like your customer data, your information about the business, your products and services also lives in a variety of different places, in a variety of different formats. Again, not accessible to your employees like Joe in an easy to use format. We're gonna change that with Sunshine too. So introducing our next 
feature, which is Sunshine Objects. Sunshine Objects connects all your business data, including data about your products and services, and links it back to your user profile. So no matter where it lives, no matter what the format, again, these, in, these pieces of information that are critical to solving your customer's problem are now available to your agent. In this case, we can see that the object of the scooter and some vital information about the scooter's health, like the tire pressure, the information on the battery, the information on the range, et cetera, are now available to Joe, which previously weren't. So how does it happen? Yeah, well, so this is powered by an app that Helios built right inside the Zendesk UI and powered by Sunshine Objects. And because the ticket and the scooter and Lisa have all been linked together, you know, Joe now has all of that pro all the information to solve that problem in context. But it's so much more than just an app that appears in the Zendesk agent UI. Behind the scenes, Helios has built an entire scooter fleet management application powered by Zendesk Sunshine, used by their maintenance and procurement teams to see the status of all of the scooters in their fleet. This application was built by Helios' dev team using the languages and tools that they already know and love in the AWS environment where they deploy all of their other applications. Your developers are gonna love Sunshine. And because the app is built in AWS and it's backed by Zendesk Sunshine, they have the whole data picture all in one place. Great, so it looks like Joe has every piece of information he needs to really help Lisa. Again, this information really wasn't available to Joe before. So let's get to solving Lisa's problem with the reservation manager application, again, available right within his workspace because of custom applications that Luke just mentioned. He can modify the reservation, get Lisa a scooter really fast, maybe just a block away from where she is so that Lisa can be on her way and the scooter is ready for her to pick up. But of course, Joe has to notify Lisa. Now remember, Lisa's still grocery shopping. She has no clue that the battery failed and there's a whole machine operating behind the scenes to making sure that they can get ahead of the problem so Lisa doesn't even feel the pain. I mean, that's called a frictionless experience. So in this case, Joe also notices, because of the Sunshine profile, that Lisa is a Helios VIP. So in addition to notifying her that the scooter has been replaced and a new one is available for her to pick up, he decides to offer her a discount code. I mean, that's a great experience. You do that for your VIP customers. So Lisa now gets the notification in the Helios mobile application, and she is all set to go home. I mean, this is really about getting ahead of the customers. I wish I had that kind of experience every time I interacted with the company, but that's not how it works. I'm, the typically, I'm typically the one who has to go out and tell the company what happened. I have to switch between multiple channels. I have to repeat my problem over and over again. You know the drill. So this has been a fantastic experience. I'm happy for Lisa, but I also know that she's gonna expect that from all of us going forward. So as you've just seen, Zendesk Sunshine is the platform for building modern customer experiences. But we're only just getting started. Coming in 2019 and beyond, Zendesk Sunshine will go beyond the data. Sunshine will deliver powerful services on top of profiles, events, and objects with rich segmentation to power personalized experiences, a new intelligent workflow engine to match your business processes, and of course, the power of Zendesk's machine learning to deliver bot-driven conversational experiences. Sunshine is gonna transform all of your customer engagement teams from marketing to support to sales. Today is truly just the dawn of Zendesk Sunshine. See what I did there? Yeah. <laughs> all right, so with that, I'm gonna bring Mikkel back up on stage, uh, and he's gonna to talk to us about a few other new things. Thanks. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so awesome. A lot of things here, a lot of things to consume, and this is really something that helps you in your customer service organization bring the entire customer experience out to the teams and get your developers and everybody in your organization to get together and build much better customer experiences. Um, Zendesk Sunshine is available today. All our enterprise customers can access uh, Sunshine. Uh, events, custom objects are available right now. Profiles are gonna be publicly released within a few months. But we're not gonna stop here. Uh, this is the beginning of a journey for us. 
and we're going to make Sunshine available for any developer standalone in the future too. So tell your developers, tell your IT teams to start checking it out. It will make the world of customer experiences so much uh, better. Um, Standard Sunshine is a really big deal for us. Really, really big deal for us.